Sanders uh, a portion of what we read for our uh, responsive reading. That's where we'll be at. Chapter 19 of the book of St. Luke, after the choir has given us a rendition of their choosing, we'll be back with the message for this morning. <laughs> Hello, church. It's me again. <laughs> you know what I like to do. Can y'all just get up and go greet somebody? You look like you're a little tight today. Can you get up and go greet somebody, shake somebody's hand, and tell them you love them? It's good to see them loosen up just a little bit for me. Is that okay? Just get up and just loosen up a little bit. Man. You can do it with another laugh. You ain't got to be so tight. You can smile at each other. You're in the house of the Lord. You ain't got to be so tight. <laughs> Oh, no, she ain't see it. No, no, she's doing pretty good. <laughs> All right. There you go. Just, just breathe each other. Loosen up just a little bit. <laughs>
He feeds us even though sometimes we don't know where our next meal is coming from. Right. We still manage to be alive. Right. Yet we have become so hard-hearted right. and stiff-necked that we will not say thank you. Thank you. Somebody ought to shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Now one thing that we ought to understand is that when God sent his son Jesus, it took him a while to get here. But the stories had been told about his arrival. Yes. People were expecting him to come in a certain way. The story had them so excited and they were in such an expectant mood. Brother Bacon, that they were looking for him to come in uh, all a celebratory way with a princely robe, a crown on his head, all of these things because he was pronounced as being the king of kings. All right. Well, when he didn't show up that way, some were disappointed. Some even doubted that he was who he said he was. Yeah. So on his arrival into Jerusalem, some remembered that the story that was told to them, that blessed is the king that comes sitting on a horse, but it was a donkey that he was riding on. And you all know that you don't get any lower than a donkey That's or right. as a beast of bird. Right. You don't get no lower than a donkey. But Jesus' display was that he was coming in a low estate. That's right. So some that remembered the days of Solomon that were told to them shouted out loud with a loud, boisterous saying, Well, I'm just thanking God for all the mighty works that I've seen. I thank him for what he's already done for me. Surely some of us ought to say hallelujah today. Hallelujah. After all, some of us have been ridiculed. Some of us have been criticized. Some of us have been talked about. Some of us have been put under the bus, so to speak. How many of us sitting here today have been stabbed in the back simply by somebody that we know or love? We gave them our trust. We loved them, but yet the feeling of betrayal encamped around us that it so hurt us, but we don't trust anybody anymore. But we ought to shout hallelujah because of who Jesus is. Then his ascension, he came in and as he uh, descended at the bottom of the mountain, they began to recognize that this man here is not like anybody else. Uh -huh. Who in the world could have fed 5,000 men, let alone the women and children, That's right. with two fish and five body loaves of bread? Amen. Who could do such a miraculous thing yes. except he be the Son of God? Yes. I think I'm like old Nicodemus. Nicodemus wanted to sneak because he didn't want his friends to know. That I'm going to see Jesus. How many of us don't let our friends know sometimes just how we feel about the Lord? All right. How many of us sometimes are silent with our praise? That's right. But we ought to praise the Lord out loud sometimes. Yeah. We ought to shout hallelujah for the goodness that he's done. We ought to shout hallelujah for how he's not called any hurt, harm, or danger to come upon us. Yeah. And some of these folk that were standing at the foot of Mount of Olives. Saw somebody that had done miraculous things. He had healed the sick. Uh -huh. He had opened blinded eyes. Uh -huh. He had straightened out crooked hands. Uh -huh. Oh, I'm sure that at the foot of the mountain there that was shouting hallelujah was the young lady with the issue of blood. Yes, sir. I'm sure that the man that laid at the pool of Bethesda might have been at the foot of the mountain. Yeah. He was saying, I laid sick for 38 long years. Amen. And this man that you see coming, riding on the donkey, hallelujah. I'm shouting hallelujah, hallelujah, and I won't be quiet. Yes, because right now everything <laughs> is all right. Yes, I was made whole from the crown of my head <laughs> to the soles of my feet. Yes, and you want me to be quiet. Yes. Some of us were made whole. Yes. Some of us would have been mighty sick. Yes. But the hand
me slow up here. Let me slow up here. Ah, don't rush me this morning. I'll be through in about five minutes. Yeah, and you see, some of us have gone through a whole lot. No doubt that these people, this multitude of folk, had gone through some similar experiences. They didn't know how other to express themselves but to shout hallelujah. You see, they couldn't text Jesus. Come on, somebody. They couldn't call him on the telephone. They didn't, couldn't write because there were no male men. So the only way that they could express was when they saw him. They shouted hallelujah. But look at the folk around you now. When you express your gratitude, when you express your appreciation of how good God has been, folk looking at you like you ought to shut up. Well, I'm here to tell you right now, as somebody who laid on his deathbed, the doctor shook his head, walked out of my room, said he wouldn't be here no more. But the hand of the Lord touched my body from the crown of my head to the soles of my feet. Walked out, able to speak.
Have you ever thought? <laughs> think about this. Yes, sir. Hallelujah. Then I won't leave you alone. <laughs> you buy something for somebody. Yeah, yeah. They don't say thank you. For what you've done. Yes. Come on now, listen to me. Yes. You buy. You paid your best. And you had your best thoughts in mind for that person. Really? And you give it to them and they don't say thank you. They don't act like they appreciate it. That's right. Or anything. Yes. You try it again. And you get the same results. Really? And you try it again. You say, well. Maybe they won't feel it good the first two times. Uh -huh. So you do it again and they still don't say thank you. Well, if you got that feeling, how do you think God feels? Yes. When he bless you all the time. Yes. And you never say thank you, Lord. That's right. You never give him honor. Yes. You never give him praise. Yes. And the highest praise that we can give him, shout. Hallelujah. Yes. Come on, somebody. Yes. Is hallelujah. It's the highest praise. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 That's the message for the morning. Yes. Yes. God has been so good to me. Yes, sir. I got to praise His holy name. God has been so good to me. I got to praise his holy name. Hallelujah. 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 Got to praise his righteous name. God has been so good to me. I've got to pray in righteous name. Yeah, God has been so good to me. I give Him the highest praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.